Hi Procreate fans, this is Tia from Willow and Wheat Studio and today I'm going to show you how to create a star spattering brush in seconds actually. You don't even need to paint anything, that's how easy this is. You just start out with a square canvas and in your square canvas at the top click the layer button. Um, go ahead, since we're, we have a white canvas, go ahead and tap a color that's the opposite or nearly the opposite, which is black. We can even make it all the way black and go ahead and in your layer one go ahead and fill that layer with black so we're filling instead of painting once you've filled your layer you can top tap on the selection arrow at the top of your screen toward the left hand side just left of the middle and you can then go ahead and minimize that square and put it in the center and clicking at the bottom of your um, screen if you have your selection uh, still select if you have the arrow still selecting the square go ahead and rotate your shape 45 degrees and bring it down to the bottom of your screen to the point where it begins to look like a long wide triangle then go ahead and tap that selection tool at the top that's going to cut it off. Tap the selection tool again and bring your shape back up. I'm going to minimize the shape a little tiny bit. And now what I'm going to do is at the I'm going to kind of squash it so it even looks like a wider triangle. No painting, just playing with the selection tool today. Okay. So now if you tap on your layers, go ahead and duplicate layer one and back to the selection tool. We're gonna flip it vertically at the bottom. You have a, a very, very bottom toward the left. You have a flip vertical option. And now bring this to match the bottom of your first triangle. So it begins to look a little bit like a diamond. And now go ahead and merge the layers. And I think I'm gonna wanna squish it a tiny little bit more down. So I'm gonna go ahead to the arrow again, the selection tool, and just bring the shape down or squash it down a little bit. I'd like it to be wider. So in my layers, I'm also gonna duplicate this layer. Once I duplicate the layer, I hit the selection tool and at the bottom, a lot of repetition here. You will see rotate 45 degrees. We're gonna do that twice. So this begins to look like a star. Now I'm going to combine these two layers and I have my shape. Now Procreate usually um, likes the shapes that you import to be white depending on some of the other settings, but I know that this one's gonna prefer white. So I'm just gonna to go to the magic wand up here on the left. I'm gonna tap hue, saturation, and brightness. And down at the brightness, oops, I'm going to bring this all the way to the top. Now you can't see it, but I promise it's there. If I tap the layers button, I can take away the background color and show you. Here it is. Now you could save this shape and then import it later, but I found a new way, which I love. You take three fingers, your pointer, your middle, and your ring finger. You take three fingers and swipe down and that opens up a menu to copy and paste it. So you go ahead and copy. Now that you saw that layer is copied. So now let's go ahead and make our brush. So go ahead and top, tap on the brush icon at the top right, cor uh, top right side of your iPad. And over here at the top, we have a plus sign. That's the plus sign to add a brush. It's on, if you don't know where it is, it's on the top of all of your brushes. See this top where my blue untitled brush is selected? It's on the top of that over on the right side. So tap on the plus sign or making a new brush. On the stroke path, I don't know what I want that to be yet because I wanna see it. I can use my drawing pad to see what my shape is gonna look like as a brush. So I'm gonna come down here to the shapes, highlighting shapes. Now over here, I must clear this. Um, over here, the shape source is what I'm clicking on, and I'm going to tap import, 
but instead of importing a photo, I can just say paste and have my shape imported. And I'm done with that. Done. I can play around and see what it looks like. But of course, since the spacing is so close together, you're not going to really be able to see the, the full effect that changing the shape is. So I'm going to go back up to the stroke path. That's the first selection under Brush Studio. And I'm going to pull the spacing out. Um, right now it's at 52. Now we can stop and you can be done if you just want like a nice border brush like this. But I think I want mine to kind of be like a smattering. So I'm going to also pull out the jitter a little bit so it doesn't follow the line as much. Kind of like this look. So let's, we can be done. If you like your look, let's do it to your preference. If you like that, tap done at the top. And you can give your brush a title, but let's see what our brush looks like. Very pretty. I think that is going to make a nice final touch on like a whimsical children's illustration as the sky or something. So I'm happy with the brush. So since I'm happy with the brush, I'll just go ahead and name it. You don't need to stick around for this part if you know how to do this. I hope you have a wonderful time creating your brush. And I will see you in the next one.